In northern Minnesota, 19th century technology meets the space age in a mine shaft a half mile below the Earth's surface. Just beyond the old ore shafts is one of the most advanced research tools in the world. This is basic research into the fundamental uh, workings of the atom. And we thought we knew quite a bit about it, but we always find things that we don't know. Jerry Meyer is the lab manager at the University of Minnesota's Sudan Underground Laboratory, a half mile deep labyrinth containing a massive 7,000 ton neutrino detector, an enormous detector that's about to be dwarfed. The next step will take place about 70 miles north of this detector, where a new, bigger detector using different technology will delve even deeper into the mystery of neutrinos. Neutrinos are tiny subatomic particles invisible to the naked eye and just about everything else except this detector. Now, thanks in part to a $45 million Department of Energy grant, the U of M will be building a new detector on the Canadian border to learn more about neutrinos, which researchers say are important little particles. They do affect the universe in which we live and uh, how that universe was formed uh, tens of billions of years ago and uh, how the universe will continue to evolve. Professor Marvin Marshak is thrilled to have a new detector built on Minnesota soil, both to have the chance to work on it and to help solidify the U of M as a leader in physics. We will have people from all over the world coming up to uh, far northern Minnesota um, to do their research. And that research could lead to incredible breakthroughs. Meyer says other labs associated with Sudan's have made remarkable discoveries. The particle accelerator at Fermilab, which is an integral part of this experiment, is also used for doing medical research. And in fact, they were pioneers in a great amount of medical research for cancer and things like that, and they still do that. There's no way to know if the new facility will have similar results, but there are a lot of scientists who can't wait to find out. For the University of Minnesota, I'm Justin Ware.